All right, guys, just back with another quick polling update. It looks like Justin Trudeau has finally hit rock bottom. Based off this new uh, poll from Palace Data, uh, there's a poll that was modeled out yesterday. And uh, let's go over some numbers because it's pretty interesting. And this is actually closer to what my projection is going to be. So this, again, maybe I'm a little bit biased and uh, showing you guys this. But that being said, what this shows is that conservatives would have 238 seats. My projection is closer to 250, but this is the closest I've seen. The blocks will be at 41, NDP 32, and the Liberals 31. That would be about as bad as it can get for the Liberal Party. right? I mean, they'd be basically sitting in the corner with the NDP with almost no power. Because anything the Conservatives want to do, they can pass it because they got 238 seats. I mean, the Bloc, the NDP, the Liberals, and then of course the Green at one seat. I mean, they would have virtually no power. And after what they've done for nine, ten years, they deserve it. It's time to undo all this nonsense, and we need a majority to do it. And it looks like we're getting a major majority, not just a majority. It doesn't really matter in how much, in terms of how much power you have, but a majority is 172, 238 is a landslide isn't even the, the, the correct word. I mean, this is going to be a landslide of epic proportions if this poll is correct, and I do think it is close to being accurate. And then, of course, at the very bottom the PPC party, or as I like to call them, the stuck in the mud party at zero seats. No change. Poor Max and Bernier, but pay people or the people of the people party, maybe they'll learn one day and they'll get themselves a real leader. And that way they'll actually have a chance to grow a little bit. Maybe in the next few elections, they can get some steam, especially with this whole, you know, gen alpha generation. That's as of 2019, the first group of them will start to hit 18. They'll be able to vote. I think those kids the COVID kids, they're probably going to be pretty angry with the liberals. They might even be angry with the conservatives based off of what happens in Pierre Polyev's first few years. That's a great opportunity for the People's Party. But they won't get rid of this uh, absolute loser they have as a, as a leader. So they're, uh, they're in sixth place out of six parties. Congratulations, guys. Doing a great job with your movement. So anyway, let's have a look at this map here. So if we, if we look, I mean... That's an awful lot of blue. <laughs> Some red, of course, in Montreal, a little bit in Ottawa. Greater Toronto has a few red seats. But look at out west. I mean, there's there's nothing. Even in winter, I mean, this is orange. right? So like, you got Hamilton. Look at that. Hamilton, Waterloo. Only a little bit of orange in a sea of blue. It's wild. Saskatoon, no surprise. Regina, Winnipeg. I mean, yeah, like out west, they're getting nothing. The NDP will get a few seats. And you look at Atlantic Canada, Halifax, a little bit of orange, St. John's, Moncton's a bit red. The Maritime in general has a few seats. The Liberals will get a few seats here and there. But it's just a, it's basically orange and red dots in a sea of blue. I mean, this is going to be an insane landslide, and I can't wait. Hopefully it happens quicker than you know it's scheduled to. Again, my prediction is that the election will happen around April or May. But we'll have to see who knows how long these uh, liberal and NDP socialists want to stay in power. So, uh, But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this. Um, these seat projections. Again, this is what I have. as It's closer to what I have as my official project uh, prediction. Uh, but let me know what, what you think. Do you think the conservatives will get more than that? Do you think they'll get higher, like I think, like closer to 250? Do you think they'll get more than 44% of the vote? Again, I think they're getting closer to 50. So let me know what you guys think. I always enjoy engaging with you guys. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps me grow the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day.